Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a good day today. So, uh, basically today I learned, a well, Fargo is kind of scummy. <laughs> and I know a lot of you are sitting here thinking, you're just now realizing that? Oh, you young foolish person. Yes, I am young and foolish, and I went through this nonsense so that way you guys don't have to. <laughs> so, just to keep it really short for those of you who are just popping in to figure out what's going on here, Wells Fargo Active Cash bar cards do not offer the rewards that they advertise. Specifically, if you decide to upgrade your card, um, you're no longer eligible for the rewards. So, that's a whole can of worms, and I'm going to go over my adventure of um, Wells Fargo basically scamming me out of my money, my time, and my effort here today. You know, complaining on the internet usually doesn't resolve things, but once in a while, it does. So anyways, <laughs> basically what happened was a few months ago, I received a card in the mail. And I'm sitting here like, what on earth? Why is there just a random credit card in my mail? Why does it have my name on it? Let me go call the card. Wait, it's, I can actually activate it? So I was super duper confused about this. And so I decided to, you know, talk to my roommates about it, like, does this ever happen to you? You know, does people ever upgrade your cards? Um, so I ended up calling Wells Fargo about this. So bear in mind, I've been a Wells Fargo customer since I've ever had a bank account. Uh, I have been, I had a college card with them. I also have a checkings and an IRA account with them. But basically, at this point, you know, I hadn't opened a card or anything in years upon years upon years, and I just received a random one in the mail. I go up, I call... Representative, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Is this a, a legit card? And most importantly, does it have the benefits that it says online? Because I've got this card. I was like, okay, let me go see if this card's worth me using. Because I, I use a Capital One Quilt Silver, and it's way better in terms of rewards and all of that. So I go look online. I'm like, okay, the cashback's comparable. Oh, if I spend $1,000 in the first three months, I get 200 bucks. Now that's pretty nice. Now, I went through and I tried to figure out, well, is it worth me using this card or not? And I figured, okay, well, if they do offer these rewards, they're pretty good. The only issue is they don't have an easy way to set up auto pay. So there's that whole nonsense, which I won't get into today. Um, but anyway, so I decided, hey, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go spend a thousand bucks in these next three months just on my regular stuff using this card. You know, I'll have to put up with paying off the card instead of just having it automatically happen out in the, the cloud. Um, so I do that, and I'm expecting to receive those shiny 200 buckaroonies on my account any day. I'm sitting here like a little kid, like, oh, yes, my $200 just for just for using the card that they sent me in the mail. Just like that person on the phone said, all the rewards are just as they're listed online. I'll, you know, it's just like a regular old card. Um, and I never received the rewards, so I was a little bit upset. And so you know, I'm just like, okay, it's fine. Let me call them up. So I call up Wells Fargo, and the guy on the line says, oh, Sorry about that. You'll get your rewards in a month. Just, just, to get, just give it a month to process through, okay? You'll get your rewards. You'll get your rewards. Just wait a month. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. So I had a little bit of free time, you know, a month later. I'm like, okay, let me check up on the situation because, I, you know, I want to get my money. I used your card for the rewards. You know, I, I wouldn't have used it otherwise, you know, so they're getting use out of me. I better get some use out of them in return. So I call them up again and they're like, oh, um, you were technically not eligible. However, since those previous representatives told you you were, you can get your money. All you have to do is call this number tomorrow when the office hours are open basically and i'm just like okay okay so this isn't convenient this isn't convenient it's not the end of the world i'm still gonna get my money at the end of the day because these two people told me um which by the way uh yeah i guess we'll get into that a little bit later so fast forward to today okay i'm doing nothing i'm gonna go try to resolve the situation so i call them they're like yeah that's not our department let me transfer you i'm like okay so i get transferred to another line and i call these guys and I start talking with this person like, oh, yeah, you're not eligible. You're not eligible at all for this. Here's why. So they pull up the, the, the stinking thing online and they show me this clause. All right. So let me let me pull this up right here. OK, uh, so they pull this up right here. You may not be eligible for introductory APR fees, rewards, et cetera, if you opened a Wells Fargo credit card within the last three months, 15 months of the state. Well, first of all. I haven't opened a car with these guys in five years, so that doesn't apply to me. Of this application. 
I didn't apply for this card, so this doesn't apply to me either. Now bear in mind, this is on the rewards page. The all-inclusive information for this card. Every single little itty-bitty, you know, legal stuff is on this page and all the pages attached to it. All right, so this, this is the relevant information right here, okay? And it says, and, keyword and, you received introductory APRs, fees, and or bonus offers. Okay. Well, I might have used my other card within the last 15 months. But even then, this is and. I did not receive an, I did not send in an application, and I did not get a new card within the last 15 months with Wells Fargo. So, I qualify for this reward. And you can go through and you can click, you can click all the different pages for all the, 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 the legal nitty gritty on this card, and none of it says, if you upgrade the card, you're no longer eligible. So the website saying one thing, but the representative saying another. Kind of upsetting. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'm starting to get fed up at this point. They say, okay, I need to transfer you to a wonderful gal named Joy. So I wait there, I wait there. She's like, okay, I have Joy on the other line. I'll transfer you. I'm like, okay. Hello? Who's there? Is anyone there? 15 minutes go by of me just looking into the void, talking to nothingness. There's nobody on the other end of the line. Okay, now I'm starting to get annoyed. So I decide, okay, beep, hang up, beep, beep, boop, call them again. So I get sent to one department, and then they send me to another department, and they send me to another department. And so finally my issues, you know, you know, getting escalated a little bit. Along the way, they tell me, oh, yeah, you're not eligible for it because it was an upgraded card. And I'm sitting here tell, thinking to myself, you don't say that anywhere. You don't say that online. Your representatives didn't tell me that. As a matter of fact, your representatives told me the exact opposite thing two and three months ago. Kind of convenient that I'm no longer eligible once I've actually earned the reward and I'm no longer using your card. Yeah, yeah, that's how you get them. All right, so I get the matter escalated. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. There's nothing we can do. We can't get your money back. Wait a second. The, the representative I called yesterday just said, yes, I can get my money back so long as I call this number and get to this department, which was the department I was at. So now I'm even more upset because I was told not only that I would get this money and that I was eligible, but now I'm ineligible, but I can still get the money. And now, no, no, you're not eligible when you can't get the money. So I'm being told different things from all different directions, given different excuses from all different directions, mind you, which are all pretty much invalid based on what you can find online in the terms and conditions for this card. So I get to the end of the line. I open up a complaint. They're like, oh yeah, maybe 10 business days later, we'll get a response to you, which basically means, yeah, no, I don't care about you. Goodbye. You're not, you're not getting your money. So I just wasted like five hours of my life trying to resolve all that. And I ended up spending a lot of money at a company that I don't really like that much anymore. You know, they've got some good products. Wells Fargo's got some good products, but you can't just manipulate your customers into spending more money on your accounts and then not give them the rewards they want. I want to close down my Wells Fargo's accounts now because I know that they're going to try to pull a fast one on me probably again in the future. It's kind of dirty. And then not only that, but them actively lying to me on the phone and then not holding up to the promises of various different employees that I spoke to. I'm upset. <laughs> what's the moral of the story moral of the story don't upgrade to to a active cash card because you will not get the rewards associated with it and the second moral of the story is that wells fargo customer service is garbage you'll call them they'll lie to you in whatever way is convenient and then they'll transfer you into the void for 15 minutes so you have to call them back and go through the whole nonsense over again just pray that this time you actually get transferred to the right person <laughs> and then they won't even do anything in the end so yeah no wells fargo shame on you shame on you the rest of you 
Ho hopefully there's a better bank out there. I, I use Capital One too. They're pretty good. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Don't don't get don't get scammed like me. Have a good one. <laughs>